fish curry in Kerala style is the most simplest and the yummiest fish curry. Seriously. But uh, it's nice and beautiful shape. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel North Meat South by Satish and Stuti. We are so much thankful and we are so overwhelmed with your love, your like, your comments and your subscription. Please do continue to watch our videos. Today in the evening we went out and we bought the fish. Its name is Vata. Okay, so me being a North Indian, I'm going to tell you my recipe of how I cook a typical Kerala fish curry. So please do watch it. Perfect, <laughs> You have to say oh, this beautiful fish, it is called as butter. It's nice and beautiful shape. I usually don't buy which is scary looking ones. I don't I don't like all this. In Malayalam we call it mati. Love to have it when, with a uh, fish fry with this. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yay! <laughs> yeah, but look at the car that does so much of colors. Now mm. let's go home and cook the soup of fish curry. Yeah. Kids must be waiting for us. This is Nedimbarambal Junction. Nedimbarambal Junction? Yeah. Aren't we going to buy the Lato? Lato you want? Oh boy, boy, this is dangerous. After a yummy fish curry, a desert. I'm going to pay 50 pounds also, okay? Yep. This is our bakery. It says All Saints Bakery. Hi guys, we came back from the market and bought nice fresh fish. And now let's start making the fish curry. So what are you gonna make today? What are you making today? I'm gonna make a fish curry uh, in the Kerala style. Yes, you get it right in the Kerala style. I being a North Indian. Uh, I actually thought that making fish curry would be very difficult but then learning fish curry in Kerala style is the most simplest and the yummiest fish curry, seriously. Look wise it looks that it might be a long, laborious, tedious preparation but then when I actually did it, it's, the, it's really very simple and it looks awesome it will definitely make you to feel to eat more and it is very tasty and simple so let's get started and let's make this so first of all uh, this is a typical Kerala chutney it's made out of mud and it's well baked and we, this black color ones you can use it on the gas stove there are other ones which are also brown in color that's full brown in and out and we can use that in the firewood but I, for me this is easy because gas cooking is very easy for me so this is a chutney made out of mud okay so we wash it and we place it on the stove lit it meanwhile I'll tell you this is the fish we bought we got it cut because I don't know to cut the fish that's the saddest part of it but that's okay. We pay and we get the fish get cut and it is vatta. In Malayalam we say it vatta. And in English it is... In English wait, it wait, is... Wait, 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 uh, wait, yeah. In English it is bluefin to valley. 
And in Malayalam, we call this fish as vata. In Tamil, it is churai. So, this is washed and cleaned. Then we will be needing coconut oil. Without that, no Kerala dishes can be prepared. So, the chati is getting heated up. After that, we have this fenugreek. In Hindi, we call it methi. In Malayalam, we call it ulava. Uluva. Uluva. <laughs> See, my pronunciation would not be as good in Malayalam, but that's okay. And then we have small onions. Small onions. These are really small and very tasty. Even in sambar, we put this. And beef curry, it really is really, really nice. It really adds. It's not the normal onions, but these small onions, we call it kochu savala. I think so, that's right pronunciation. <laughs> Chavandulli. Ch Chavandulli. <laughs> Chavandulli. Okay. And it's uh, peeled and cut into small pieces. And then we have ginger, garlic and chili. Green chili. Which, which became a little red. That's okay. But then it's been crushed well. You can use a mortar and a pestle to squash, squash it. In mix it will get totally smooth paste which will change the taste so just a mild squashing up in a mortar and a pestle or if you have the slab on which we can do so it's getting nicely dried up all the water has to get evaporated so this is ginger garlic and green chilies and then we have homemade red chili powder homemade red chili powder this is only Kashmiri chili powder so it gives a lovely taste and aroma with very less spice so with that we, it looks great and it tastes very good without making it too spicy to eat and we have a little bit of we need a little bit of turmeric powder and the most important thing one of the most important thing I should say is a mean puli if you want me to show it this way this is a this is a mean puli found only in Kerala. It's never I've never seen this in North India. This is one of the most important ingredient in a fish curry. It's big and it's really tasty. In Malala we say it mean puli if I'm not wrong. And so we need to wash it and soak it in a bowl and we will just use this water while making the fish curry. And of course Last but not the least, you know, it's the curry leaves. Curry leaves, fresh curry leaves from the garden because without that the fish curry or any, any Kerala curries or any Kerala dish is impossible. So our chutney is nicely heated up. I'm going to add coconut oil. Not much and not, not too much and not too little. I guess that's fine. <clears throat> Once the oil gets heated up, we're going to add the fenugreek seeds. We can also use a powdered form of fenugreek seeds, but I prefer this way. Wholesome fenugreek, very good for stomach. It takes away all the gaseous things in the stomach. Nice for health. And our coconut curry, sorry, our uh, coconut oil is getting nicely heated up. Let me check if it splatters. Yeah, a little bit more time. The small bubbles are oozing out. It needs to crackle. So here I go with a little bit of fenugreek. I forgot to add mustard seed. I'm sorry about that. Mustard seed. We didn't forget. It is a Yeah. Mustard seed. Then I go with the ginger garlic. Squashed ginger and garlic. There it goes. After that, we add 
the small onions. Take one spatula. Stir it well. On a low flame. Curry leaves. Wait till it gets brown. Curry leaves, it is not just only for aroma, but curry leaves has a lot of nutrient facts. Actually, it's very good for hair loss, it's very good for eyes, it's very good for internal health also. That's the beauty secret of all the Malayali women in, in Kerala. Their hair is so good. Long, curly, nice, bushy, beautiful long hair. Why? Because they use a lot of curry leaves in their food and also the usage of coconut oil. Coconut oil for eating as well as for applying it on the hair. It's really nice. The most skin friendly things that you can use on your hair is coconut oil. Even for any bruise or any itching or a sting by a bug or anything, just apply it. It'll, be, it'll never give you any bad things, any rash, anything. You can peacefully apply the coconut oil. It's really nice because I have done it. I used to get and I still get a lot of bug bites. My skin is very sensitive. So this is turning out to be little brown on a slow flame. With tossing of that. And after that... Make it and put a little bit of salt, the normal table salt, just a little bit. In fish, we got to be very careful while putting the salt because with little salt, it becomes so excessive that spoils the whole curry. So please be a little careful when you add the salt. Toss it. It's gradually turning to be a little brown, a golden brown color. Fish that we bought is like 750 grams, washed and kept aside. We got just one fish, right? Yeah, just one fish. At the beginning of the video, I showed you how beautiful it looks. Nice, good looking fish. You, just, I, you don't like uh, bad fish? Yeah, too. I'm scared of dangerous, ugly looking fish. I don't like. If this fish looks like a snake, <laughs> I'd step back. I won't even look at that for the second time. Seriously. I like beautiful, good looking fish. Then, then it's nice to eat. <laughs> that is getting little golden brown. Now I'm adding first thing is the turmeric powder. Turmeric powder, as you all must be knowing, has a lot of antiseptic qualities. Very good for health. When we have too much of body pain, in our place, North India, we will have haldi wala dood. You take a nice warm milk, you add a little bit of turmeric powder into that, stir it well, drink it, your cold, body pain, everything will go. I don't know here in Kerala you guys drink or not. But we love, I love haldi wala dood. Awesome it is. After adding the turmeric powder, I am adding chili powder. Now remember this is Kashmiri chili, homemade and it does not have much spices. So don't get scared seeing the amount of red chili powder that I am going to add into that. It will only enhance the taste and uh, the flavor as well as the look. It will look awesome. Watch and see that. So I'm going to put generously 3 table, a teaspoon of thing or maybe I can add on to one more. So I've added 4, 4, 4 red 
it's four teaspoon of red chili powder and now I'm adding it really nice and well mix it well now we need to wait for some time till this it should not get burnt as well as the aroma and the fragrance should come out nicely we have to wait for some time on a slow flame remember not to make it on high otherwise if the chili powder gets burnt up the whole flavor and taste will go away so please be careful that you make it on a slow flame and you wait for the red chili powder and the masalas to nap into the ginger garlic and it will thicken the gravy it will give a nice color as well as a very nice taste so we'll wait for a few minutes just a few minutes maybe two minutes or three minutes and we wait and then we will again stir it make sure that nicely the oil oozes out of the mixture the masala the ginger garlic onions and the masala is nicely roasted I can actually get the nice smell see how nice it looks and now this is our own recipe we don't follow any recipe we just make out of our desire and out of our new inventions as in how we feel to skip a particular ingredient or you know to add on more so now I'm going to add is the pulley water the pulley water means the tamarind the fish pulley you remember I showed you the dry ones these are the same washed ones and I have soaked it with water no need to add salt into that so I'm gonna add the pulley water the tamarind water the fish tamarind water into it this is not wastage right we can also put this some people they don't do it some people uh, take only the water they don't like the tamarind into it but I like it and the longer you leave the fish curry the tamarind will ooze out more of its pungent and um, that sour taste see I am a girl I love tamarind I love I always tell my husband let's add more pulley into that because when it is the next day the fish curry is awesome okay so I have added that gently stir it remember the flame is always slow okay normally what I have seen is uh, people just add water into this thing and then they wait for the water to boil and later once it's nicely boiled then they add the fish pieces but I don't wait for that I directly put the fish pieces slowly into the thing careful that you don't hurt yourself washed fish into the curry the reason is why I like to add like this is when we pour the water and when it gets cooked in it the masala will nicely get like it will nap well into the mm. so small bubbles are coming in the curry I'm gonna add little water not too much wow, what a color I think this much gravy is fine. See any? More? So like around one and a half glass of water. One and a half glass of water. This much size of glass. One and a half glass of water I have added into that. It's still on the same flame. And we can put a lid. I leave water, not a little bit. Same. I have added one and a half glass of water so that the consistency of the fish curry is not very watery, neither very thick, a medium one. And then now I'm covering it with a lid on a same flame and let the curry get cooked. Meanwhile, while the fish is getting boiled and cooked, this is the only time I get to just 
sit and have a look at least on what's happening around the world. So I utilize my time reading a little bit of news. So let's go and see whether the fish curry is ready or not. Let's check. Hmm. Now very important thing is, please do not use a spoon to stir it because now the fish pieces are very well cooked. It's nicely boiled. So use a tissue or a cloth to hold it this way and then you shake it. You shake it thoroughly. Careful that it doesn't splashes on you because it's really boiling fish curry. This is my own style of just leaving one or two strands of curry leaves into that and then put the lid on, on it and let the flavor, let the aroma of raw curry leaves settle into the curry and you cover it so that the fragrance and the aroma doesn't go and then after maybe just two minutes or so we can switch it off. We know for sure because fish gets cooked very quick being the white meat it gets cooked very fast so the fish pieces are well cooked only for the last part to enhance the flavor and color and taste of curry leaves I just put so just dip two curry leaves into that strands of that two curry leaves and cover it with this and then we wait for two minutes so now the fish curry is ready you can see that this day is not with this one. Okay. Mm. It's nice steaming and hot. Fish curry is ready. And now the kids are hungry. Even I'm very hungry. So we will leave the recipe in the description. Wherever you are, Please, please, please do try it. I'm sure you're going to love this recipe. Please do try it and like it. And leave a comment. How did you like it? Did it come out good for you or not? Wherever you are watching us, whether from South India or from North India, I'm sure making a ocean or a sea fish curry in this way would be a new taste for you. If you try out, you please find it out and check for yourself how nice and delicious this fish curry is. Simple yet so yummy. Please do like, subscribe and do watch us. We're going to have more of these videos, more of cooking videos coming up. We plan to have two videos in a week. So don't go away. Stay connected. Watch us, like us and subscribe us. Till then, goodbye. God bless. Sign up.